Hi there. Now in this video, what I want to do is show you how we go about finding the area of a segment. And in this particular example, it's the area of a major segment as opposed to the area shaded in white here, which would be a minor segment. And the angle is given in radians. So what I've got here is a segment drawn in a circle of radius 3.8 centimeters. And the angle subtended at the center of the circle by the chord AC is 1.2 radians. Now to do a question like this, there's two ways that spring to mind. I'm going to take the slightly longer method and give you the opportunity of doing a quicker method at the end. And you can check your answer against mine. So the slightly longer method is going to be where I'm going to be working out the area of the sector OABC. I'm then going to work out the area of the triangle OAC, subtract it from the area of the sector, and that will give me the area of the minor segment, shaded here then in white. And then I can take away this area from the circle, and that will give me the area of the major segment. So I'll do it that way. And what we're going to have then is the area of the sector, and that sector is OABC. And so, in the usual way, this will be a fraction of the area of the complete circle. That fraction would be 1.2 radians compared with 2 pi radians. And then it will be of the area of the circle, which would be pi times r squared, the radius being 3.8. OK, so we square that. And the two pi's cancel out there. So you get the familiar formula if you cut out this stage of theta r squared over 2 and omit the pi's. Anyway, if you work this out, you find you get 8.664. And the units would be centimetre squares. Now we'll take the area of the triangle OAC. So if we put that in, area of the triangle OAC. Now to do this, what I'm going to do, because I've got two sides and an included angle, is to use the formula that the area equals a half AB sine C. should be familiar with this formula. So We've got a half then multiplied by the two sides A and B. Well, they're both 3.8, so that's going to be 3.8 squared. And then we've got the sine of the angle in between the two sides, the included angle, which is in this case is 1.2 radians. Now, you've got to be careful when you're doing this because you must be in radians mode. You're working out the sine, a trig function of an angle here. So you need your calculator in radians mode. And if you do that, you should find you get 6.7293 and so on. And that'll be measured then in centimeter squares. So when it comes on to the area of the minor segment, that is ABC, okay, let's just put this down here. We've therefore got the area of the segment, I'll leave out the word minor, okay, segment, let's just say ABC though, it's going to equal the area of the sector, which was 8.664, and then from that we subtract the area of the triangle, which was 6.7293, and so on. And if you do that, you end up with 1.9346 and so on. And that will be measured in centimetre squares. So therefore, we're in a position now to work out the area of the segment, the major segment, which is the segment ADC. OK, so that will be ADC. And that's going to equal the area of the circle, which will be pi r squared, pi times 3.8 squared, minus 
the area of the minor segment, which is 1.9346 and so on. Do that subtraction and you end up with 43.429 and so on. And we've got to give this to one decimal place, so that's going to equal 43.4 centimeter squares to one decimal place, one dp for short. Now I did say that there was a quicker way of doing this, and I'm going to leave it to you to work it through, but essentially what you could do is work out what the area of the major sector is. That is the sector O, A, D, C. You'll need to work out this angle in here. This angle in here, remember, would be 2 pi radians, the full angle. Let's just mark that in. Okay, That angle around there would be 2 pi minus the 1.2. Okay, And that would be measured in radians. So if you work out the area of that sector, A, D, C, O, then you'll find that you can just add the area of the triangle to it, and you should find you end up with this answer. And that's the way, really, I would go about doing this question. But I just thought I'd show you this method, just in case you had to work out, for instance, the area of the minor segment which would be up to this version here. OK, well, I hope that's been of some use to you. And you can see now how to work out the area of a segment, whether it be a minor or major segment, by these particular methods.